Let's, let's teach them how you take people to a cage, lock them in a cage, because you get $200,000 a year, and that's what matters to you. Not their family, not the kids, the money. That's what matters, the money. You You're lock so their parents in a cage, and in a few years, you'll even lock them in a cage, so long as you keep getting that paycheck. You're apologizing for me, but not for what you just did to them? You just broke up a family, and you're sorry that I'm here. You broke it up a lot worse. You broke into a house <laughs> in Las Vegas, didn't you? On camera. Explain how you lock people in cages for profit. You're making I mean, come things on, the worse. The kids are gonna learn anyways. Might as well tell them right now. Yeah, you can make it the kids cry. Deputy Furman literally searched his kids' school backpacks and lunch bills while they were standing over here on the sidewalk while their parents, while their father's locked in the cage. You know, the cage in the back of the police car over here. What a loser. Just rides around his bicycle around the same 13 blocks harassing her working people has no idea what's going on has no idea what the stop is about has no idea because he's gotten radio encrypted everywhere he goes because he says he's gonna line up 25 30 cops mm -hmm. and but shoot him in the fucking head if i was a deputy and i had the authority that he has and the others have i would take my gun and my ammunition and I could think of at least 25, 30 cops. I would line them right here in a row and I would shoot every single one of them in the fucking head and be done with all those 25, 30 cops, be done with them. And then I say, what, what, what? They were reaching for something. I seen something shiny, but just think how much better we would all be off. You know, we'd all be better off because I'd be rid of all the dirty ones that I've introduced to you. Wow. Am I sunburned? Wow. Zebras with some enabler must be Laura Sharp. So I've, I've lost count how many times I've documented Deputy Furman here. Not just pulling people over for no reason, but worse than that, getting caught red handed by me. How many times she's told the motorist, look, I'm gonna let you go. Just do not talk to him. Get straight in your car. Don't say nothing to him. If you talk to him, you're going to jail. If you speak to him, if you tell him what happened, I will arrest you. Get in your car, don't say anything to him. Why is that? Why do we have to keep this a secret out here? They're not really trying to keep it a secret from me. They're trying to keep it a secret from you, the viewers at home, right? And why is that? What's the big secret? I mean, this is this is a successful night for these deputies. I think there's two children in the car. There's a father over there. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the kids are very well behaved. This is one of the things I was telling these deputies before I started the stream. These kids are very well behaved. They're better behaved than these deputies are. Now, how did the kids learn that? Somebody taught them that. It was their parents. And now that these deputies have come and separated these well behaved kids from their parents, What's the alternative? What are these deputies gonna do? They're more than happy to put the parents on the street, and make them homeless. And you know why that is? Because the sheriff is trying to also be allowed to arrest the homeless. And guess what that means? You know, it's a fast track to putting these parents in a cage. The government. And the whole point is not any kind of rehabilitation, vocational huh? training. Huh? They get paid per head. They just want as many people they want to lock as many people up as they can because that's... Stop breaking the law, asshole! What their job is about. They staff the courts, their bailiffs in the courts, they staff the county jail. The more people they can 
put into those the county jail and more people they put into these cages. Maybe people shouldn't break the law like threatening to minds, kill the more 25, 30 cops. They are in their job, the more job security they have. I would take my gun and my ammunition and I could think of at least 25, 30 cops. I would line them right here in a row and I would shoot every single one of them in the fucking head. And they don't, we don't need this. We don't need people locked in cages. There should be no job security. All these people in these brown shirts, they should be waiting in the unemployment you, line. You have no idea how anything Because what's more works. important than their check right fucking here? I'll tell you what's more important. Citizen. The kids in this car, the citizens in this country, the people that live here, fuck their jobs. Fuck locking people in cages so they could pretend like they have a purpose in life. Stop breaking the law! What is more important, them Ooh. pretending to have a purpose in life, or our kids? What and is our, your other purpose in life? Here, to bore the shit out of people by like staring at They're doing the smart thing. I think Rodriguez might drive this car away, and he should. Because they never know when I might start running my mouth and shouting the truth at them again. I did it before I started the stream. The truth? You mean threats? What an asshole! Just like fucking. Makes the situation so much worse. They, no, they, he does, they have the kids he's trying his hardest to get Jody they the out here. Get Jody arrested. They so. They've already. They, there's. They pulled. The trunk is full. Of That's what he does. Random so items. People don't associate people, with him anymore. That are, the, it was full. They pulled everything out of this vehicle. Hi. How are you? Um. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, we're offended as hell that they had your kids out of the car and, and, uh, and arresting. Uh, uh, they do illegal searches here constantly. Do they? Yeah, in the, in the city of Londo, they're constantly searching people. They don't, don't have a justification for the stop nine times out of ten. And then to... to How do you know? How do to you use know? a shitty excuse like that and then separate these kids from the what I'm assuming is the father. To me, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's so, um, maybe he has a warrant. Well, they, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. But like you do, every single Daniel. Turn into a search and try to make him the Solomon. In cage. Um, Hi. Hi. Oh, so I all that said, you, all that shit you just talked, you just you're gonna keep yourself, those words because they're being they're released right? to their mom. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have to do this. They said they were going to lock up kids. The title is Stealing Kids. <laughs> Deputy Furman, were you trying to criticize us about recording? You're out here breaking up these families and you're going to criticize us for recording? You dumb bitch. Wow. Oh, mouthy motherfucker, dude. How many so times you have just you kept your mouth shut? You're already, on the, you're already going the wrong direction. Why do you have no girlfriend? Yeah, you are. You should be sorry. I'm sorry for being rude, but. She's in Hawthorne with a cop now. Don't act like you give a shit. You just had these kids out here on the sidewalk so you can search their car. Fuck you. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's Liar Shark. They're tweaking tonight. See, once again, he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Just wants to harass them because they gave him a ticket and he recorded his crimes on camera. He records all his lies on camera. Every every everything he does is a lie. He thinks he's hot shit. He's not. I mean, it's not like uh, they don't. She don't need to hear that conversation with that woman anyway. She just give her the fucking car keys and let her go. You don't have no business talking. You to ain't her. in control, bitch. I mean, I doubt she's trying to help her in any way. You don't know what's going on. You're, that's why they call you Dora the bicycle frauditor, because you, you don't know what's going on. You have to constantly ask yourself. Hola, soy Dora. And I'm Boots. Do you like to go to the playground?
You can roll up your window, bitch, but that doesn't make you protected for me. Keep the hands ringing.